Hello, and welcome to everyone. Today we'll talk about the second half of Gene Thomas' sad episode. You should view the first section initially if you haven't already. Check out the link to the first part in the description. Gene Thomas, as we all know, is a comedy anime, but there are some emotional episodes as well. So today I'm going to talk about a few of them. The Sleep Helps a Child Grow episode was one hell of episode. It has a lot of different elements, including humor, drama, terror, and so on. You could say this episode was plain odd. In this episode, Kagura is unable to sleep. So she goes to Gintoki's room and wakes him up. At first, Gintoki ignores her, but she keeps bugging Gintoki and asks him to switch the room with her since his futon looks nice and fine and she replaces him with force. Gintoki uses another futon and lies beside Kagura. Gintoki asks Kagura to go for a run and then try to sleep. Kagura asks to turn on radio to help her sleep. Gintoki agrees. Now the emotional part of episode begin. The program on radio boasts that it can make you cry in three minutes. It was a story of girl and her pet dog. How girl loan a pet dog but have to abandon dog because she became harmless. She told dog to wait in park and how dog wait for her in park forever. But there is horrid whist at last. Episode 189 is both funny and emotional episode. This episode is divided into two different title and story, first one being funny and parody of Gundam 30 year anniversary, and second one being one of the most emotional episode of Gintama. In this episode, Kagura begins attending Kabuki physical chose fitness classes, where she meets and befriends a young man named Hongo Hisashi. They make a vow to each other that they will attend every lesson. Hisashi is missing from a lesson after a wet day due to a terrible ailment that weakens his body. Kagura discovers that he had collapsed after exercising in the rain on his own and despite the fact that classes had been canceled because they made promise to each other to exercise every day. Kagura then promises Hisashi that she will attend all of his classes till he returns. Episode 111 is also divided into two stories. First one was funny and second story was emotional episode. There's almost a 100% chance you'll forget your umbrella and hate yourself for it the second part of this episode. While walking on a rainy day, Kagura noticed that her umbrella appears a little plain compared to the flowery and more garish umbrella of other women. Seeing this, Kagura become depressed and stroll around in the rain, claiming her umbrella has broken. Noticing that Jin actually buy her new, pretty umbrella. Kagura like it so much that she carries it everywhere. And we get to see a montage of how joyful she is, and she is simply a child and girl at heart. However, one day she comes upon a couple of homeless children standing in the pouring rain. Kagura, hesitant but compassionate, drops her new umbrella to them, not even looking back to see what she's done. With nothing but a damaged umbrella she found on the street, Kagura meets Jin and Shin Parchi, who ask her to let them beneath her umbrella. They walk together in that shattered umbrella, creating one of the most touching scenes and demonstrating how much they care for one other. Episode 188 and Observation Journal should be seen through till the very end and other title is When Wuma Dao Bloom is one of most weird and emotional as well as heartwarming episode. The episode begins with the child reading their observation journal. Daigoro, a little boy, begins to read his journal in which he describes his everyday encounters with Madao Hasegawa. The story begins with the child providing Madao alcohol and eventually allowing Madao to remain in his house. This enabled Madao Hasegawa to change and become a responsible guy. In next scene, we see Hasegawa going to job interview where he meet Daigoro's father, who has also changed, knowing this Hasegawa Madao caused trouble to let Daigoro's father get the job. Daigoro. Joe Hichiro attacks Odisei is one of the longest and amazing arc of Gintama anime. This arc struck from 210 to 214 episode. In this arc, we got to see comedy, sad emotion, amazing action, etc. 
as we know that Odise is a mother figure among the Odd Jobs crew and an active, beloved member of Kabuchiko's group, despite her lack of display. That is why it is so emotional when Joe Hichiro attacks Odise and leaves her in a bloody heap in front of her husband's grave. This make Gintoki undergoes an impassioned, berserker moment against the man who struck the woman who gave him second chance in life. In a rare moment for this series, we also get to see Gintoki lose to someone. Gintoki 